All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. And uh, probably saw the thumbnail. I would assume so anyways, that uh, this video is about some top secret ranger work. Oh, geez, trailer door's attacking me here. So, Eddie and I are getting ready to go down and run the ranger race at the Freedom Factory. And uh, we've been having, you know, quite the shop rivalry as far as what we've got going on with the trucks. So far, I've had the upper hand. I mean, he's only run one race, so I can't pick on him too bad. He did really well. Can't pick on him too bad. I think he got fourth. But uh, he's got a truck capable of running with, with my hot rod here. And we did a couple little changes to my truck. Nothing major. Um, yeah, nothing major. But we will uh, talk about it more after the intro. All right, so I had planned to try and get this thing a little lower. One of the things, uh, if you guys saw JH's in the last video, his truck was a good bit lower. His truck has torsion bars and they're very easily adjustable, right height wise. And um, I had a barely faster lap time than him at the last race, like two thousandths, but he was so far out front. He could have had her on cruise control and just was waiting for me to even see if I was gonna use my truck up trying to catch him. It's all part of that racecraft stuff that, you know, those of us that have raced for a while, we try and we try and keep an eye on who we're racing with to see how hard we need to race, especially when you're leading, anyways. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and try, try to run these um, one more race. We'll see if they, um, see if they work. I'm actually not going to make qualifying because Saturday I will be flying back from Las Vegas because on Friday night, I'm hanging out with my boy Drew at the NASCAR truck race. So if you guys didn't know, Drew has become the head mechanic for the number seven Spire Motorsports truck. And that means that last weekend in Atlanta, he was the head guy on Kyle Busch's number seven truck that won the race. So it's freaking awesome. And uh, he will have Kyle Busch as a driver again in the NASCAR truck race this weekend at Las Vegas. So tune in, check him out. Like I saw him in the background of the, uh, the winter circle stuff, which was really cool. See, uh, see our boy Drew in the, uh, in the NASCAR world, but I'm headed over there to Vegas. I've never been that far west, so I'm kind of excited, but I'm flying out tomorrow morning and then flying back all day Saturday with about an hour window to make it back for the start of the race. So my plane lands, I think at four o'clock in Tampa. Should put me to the Freedom Factory by 5.30-ish. And then the race I think is gonna start 6.30 to seven. Cutting it close, but I think we'll be all right. So for my truck, uh, the last race, this thing ran kind of hot, and my cooling fan, <laughs> no, it was broken for one, but my cooling fan had a big shroud and everything on it, which is great for streetcar stuff, but you can see we mounted the fan right to the radiator. So I'm hoping you know, when the thing is at speed, it will allow the air to just go through the radiator instead of it being blocked off and the fan becoming a restriction. That's one thing we did, aside from just, you know, kind of cleaning it up and nut and bolt checking some things. And uh, I had my boy CJ open up my front bumper so that we also got some more air into the bottom of the radiator and we kind of sealed off the bottom which you can't see too much i had some sheet plastic it's like eighth inch thick um sheet plastic and we just made a kind of an air dam so that if the air goes through the bumper it's going through the radiator so that's about all the changes to my truck 
Eddie's been down here like after hours, being sneaky. Yeah, I don't know what all he's been up to, but he's got some top secret, top secret shenanigan stuff going on on his truck, I think. Uh, I do see it's got some new stickers on it. So this is his dad's company. Does a lot of generator work. Hey, and of course, hey, some KSR secret. stuff. Oh, I see some weight reduction, except for the leaves. You're adding leaves, but but taking working on some wiring stuff. So when uh, when you're when you're coming up next to you, I grab the leaf and throw them at you. What's with the ram air? Don't worry about that. I'm just writing a little message for you. <laughs> All right, be beautiful. <laughs> <You> freaking jerk. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna brake check on. you and ruin that. <laughs> no, brake check me all you want. The bumper's hitting you first. <laughs> so, if you guys are wondering, air modifications are legal. Like, some guys just have a tube with an air filter hanging on them, but Eddie's going for the ram air effect. Ram air, yeah, I got this all sealed off. There's JB Weld holding it in, and I put oh, some JB of the, Weld. some uh, 200 mile an hour duct tape on the inside to seal it all off, because it's got like water drain holes on the bottom of the- Oh, you sealed them in too? Sealed, sealed it all off. Oh, yeah. dang. Don't you worry. My question is, is, is this gonna work? What? That, that thing this, right there. This thing that. right here? Does that work? It's gonna go like that right there. That's what it's gonna do? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Oh shoot, I, I would assume those aren't your tires you're gonna run on. No. Oh yeah, so one thing you guys may not know, um, high performance tires don't do well in extremely cold weather. And that's the reason why Eddie has some junk tires that came with his truck uh, because he kept his good tires and took them inside and colored with them yeah. and loved I, uh, on them. Well, I know a guy them. that says I can store anything I want in his shop, so oh. I just leave them in there. Yeah. <laughs> They're around here somewhere, aren't they? They're in the other room, because oh, it gets okay. colder in this room. Than oh the yeah, that's, that side's better insulated, but. Yeah. Hey, your door's missing. Yeah, yeah, it's right here. Is that extra ventilation? No, I took all the weight out. Took the weight out? Oh. Yeah, I, I may have uh, that does burned look... through in a couple spots with the plasma because I just went ham. With You're gonna it. have to repaint your door. Oh no! What happened to your? What happened to what's on the fender? Uh, I don't know. Somebody broke into the shop, stole my Ranger, and did burnouts. I swear like it, wasn't me. it was that you? I swear, it wasn't me. I would never do such a thing. These hoodlums. <laughs> It was both of y'all. I was here that night. <laughs> oh, oh, what are you, a cop? <laughs> <clears throat> well, actually, they went to Mexico. Yeah. Yep. 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 That's where Eddie's from. So. Yep. That's that's what happened. <laughs> yep. Oh shoot! You got some work to do, dude. No, she's wiring's good. I got my fancy switch panel that's gonna go in tonight. Do we want to? <laughs> Your wiring right, looks a good. little suspect. She's I'm good. not going to lie. See, so what it does is people come in and they look at it and they're like, oh, this thing's a piece of junk. Look at the wiring. And then I just gap them. Mm. Yeah. Lapped. Yeah. Hey, you <laughs> shut your mouth. That's I mean, nice. I did laugh That's at you last nice. time. Hey, who was faster in go-karting in Indy? <laughs> you? No, definitely wasn't you. You? Definitely wasn't you. Oh, it was me. He's got me there. Yeah. He's got me there. Yeah. I'll, I'll admit. So, Yeah. Well, for those of you that are local to Bradenton, get to Bradenton, get to the Freedom Factory, because watch us go racing. And there's some kind of crazy figure eight, like outlaw figure eight. You watched some videos of it? Yeah, it's crazy. Like yeah. if Freedom Factory Instagram reposted it, it's awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to watch it. I've always thought those guys were crazy, figure eight guys. And I guess we're gonna get to see it firsthand. And these are like, not the crash them up figure eight. Like these guys aren't trying to crash but still race a figure eight. These are like nice cars. Yeah. Like they're nice. And they've got bunches it's of not, horsepower. It's not a piece of crap like this. Yeah. It's nice. Well, well, yeah. Hope to see you guys out there. We'll be there. Eddie will be there before I am because he's gonna bring the rig down and uh, hopefully I'll get there for the race. Yeah, we'll be there for the race. Even if I end up just there at the last minute and only end up watching, but planning on being there 
and uh, we'll see if we can see if we can give JH a better run for his money, and then see if Eddie can keep up with me this race. I just want to keep up with y'all. If I'm like not getting laps by you guys, that's a I'm win. Good. Yeah. That's see if you can get see if you get paid again. Progress over laps. perfection. Yeah. I'm basically a professional race car driver. You did get I got paid. A payout. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, appreciate everybody watching. Hopefully we'll see you at Bradenton on Saturday, at the Freedom Factory on Saturday, not at Bradenton. And then uh, beyond that, we'll see you in the next video.